Hello everybody and welcome back to our seventh episode of Outer Wilds. Uh, once again we are in Brittle Hollow. I am going to do one last lap around the planet, see if I missed anything important. I'm going to try to get over to that big uh, thingy that we pushed up with the button. See if I can find a way up there. Uh, if not, we're just going to kind of leave it, but I will look for a way around. I will try to cut most of that out if I've already found it. Otherwise, I'll try to keep it in. Uh, but I will see you when we're leaving the planet in case I find nothing interesting. That's right. I remember. We were trying to figure out what these scrolls said. We got murdered by the sun. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and uh, figure out what these scrolls say. And then we'll see if we can keep climbing. So this is a scroll that was already on here. Explanation of festivals. All the clans from all over the universe meet in one place to share what they've learned in science and art. It's called the festival. We can't go because we're stuck here, but Felix says we used to go too. At some festivals, a clan's big discovery can mean all Nomai get to advance too, like known as Warp Port, which made it so everyone can warp long distances and explore more. Each clan has a festival envoy to show their most interesting work. Our envoy was Thatch. A single festival could last a long, long time. Don't forget, festivals happen every 10 years. This is the scroll that was already here. Solanum, formation of this universe. No one knows how this universe was made, but one thing we do know is everything used to be very hot and very dense, tightly packed together. As this early universe expanded, it also cooled down. Once it cooled down enough, particles were able to group together to form things like galaxies, stars, and planets. Since this Space has continued to expand at a faster and faster rate, which is hard to think about for too long without your brain hurting. This universe will keep getting colder and larger until one day, the stars and the life to support will all die. That's scary to think about, even though Kanoi tells me it won't happen in our lifetimes. But it'll happen in someone else's someday. It's true, it will. Why we should build a new vessel. It probably wouldn't be hard to get parts if we stopped building other new things and if we broke down other structures, like the towers on Ash Twin for parts. We might build a new we might have to build a smaller vessel for now even though we are normally best on even though vessels are normally large. But we could make it bigger later once we reach the planets with more resources. It would also help if we stopped building so many things to search for the eye of the universe. I asked Yarrow, and he says we use lots of resources on the Ash Twin project. We could even have a warp port for jumping long distances like vessels have. Pokey tells me she plans to make a very advanced warp port for a different project. I'm sure she could connect to the vessel for travel because Pokey is smart. Each Nomai clan explores the universe in its own vessel. The vessel is the heart of every clan. It's unusual, for, oh, yeah. it's unusual for the Nomai to remain in one place for so long. Nomai are wondrous and have no permanent home. If we built a new vessel, we could return to our adventurous way of life. Imagine all the new places we could go. Our clan wouldn't be stuck here in the star system. We could even meet with other Nomai and learn from them like Coleus as we used to. Okay. Just a bunch of nerds. I like that. Anything interesting up here? Oh! Indeed something interesting up here. Okay, let's get going. Um... Hmm. 
This is not really going where I thought it was going. Oh, I know what this is. This is the path to the northern glacier from the south of the planet. Right, right, right. I remember seeing this path being talked about. Okay, well, that was that. But I still don't see a way to get up there. I'm gonna do the crazy thing, and I'm gonna try to jump for it. Pretty sure this is not what I was supposed to do. Okay, it's fine. We are fine. Everything is okay. See, yeah, that feels like it's too low for me to reasonably get to. Yep, and I just fucked it up. Ow. Don't even know what it was, but thankful that it killed me. Oh no, I did it again. <laughs> it's kind of achievement for dying within 60 seconds of waking up. Is the hardest part of this tragedy not knowing who we may have lost? Or will the hardest part come later when we learn? We went, Aunt my lord. We can hear other people's escape spots, the stress signals. It gives me hopes. I'm unsure how to be without you. Uh, Foley, are you still here? I'm unsure how to survive this place without you. I'm unsure how to be me without you. Oh. Well, I know you're probably dead, but if it makes you feel no better, they're also probably dead. All right, Beck, let me tell you about all the things I've learned. Uh, I'm in a hurry. Can I ask you something? I'm um, sure, of course. Anything you want. I learned something. Oh. Okay, I don't think that's fair at all. Oh, hey. This is new. Hmm. 
But that's kind of where I wanted to go next. No. 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 Uh -huh. oh. Okay. What are you? Welcome to the White Hole Station. If you fell through the black hole by accident, don't worry. You aren't the first. This warp tower can return you to Brittle Hollow. Every warp tower is turned to a specific astral body. A tower warp can only be used during the brief window when the tower is aligned with its corresponding astral body. In this case, Brittle Hollow. If you look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. You must be standing on the warp platform on the floor there in its alignment to be warped. That's the sun. Rip. Oh, and that's rotating it. Okay. Okay, I see. Well, now we know I can't just fucking leave it at that because I'm an impatient fuck. So, I lied. Now we're going to go back to Brittle Hall and we're going to do more things. Take this with me, and I'm staring up. When that comes up, I think I should get transported, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. 
That's what this is. This was not here before. Return warp that is charged. Step on the warp receiver platform to our take by return warp. Departure time, arrival time. Oh, that will send me back. Nice. Nice. Very nice. And now I should be able to put this one over here. Remy and I review the records you sent, Pokey, and they appear to show Namai are arriving at the warp receiver at Brita Hollow slightly before departing from the White Hall Station. As I've already told Remy, these measurements can't be accurate. How can an Amaya arrive on Brutal Hollow before he or she ever stepped into the teleporter? The implications are absurd. I don't disagree. It would mean I've invertedly broken several fundamental theories regarding this universe. We would have to reconsider all of our beliefs about the nature of time. Yes, I hope so too. Pokey, as Pi is confident the regarding is inaccurate, She's kindly helping me attempt to recreate this phenomenon at the High Energy Lab. We're designing an experiment to take more data. An update. The High Energy Lab is in the canyon on Ember Twins Equator. Come here at once. You need to see this. I understand it's excitingly odd, but Clary and I have tested and retested the equipment, and the result is the same every time someone warps. The interval is incredibly minuscule, roughly one hundred thousandth of a second. Do you suppose our instruments can't accurately measure time to such a small degree? Hmm, I don't know. Oh, what are you going to show me? Whoa. Okay, that's kind of sketch. This one's not as crazy as the other one. This one's fine. Nothing super major here. I don't think there was anything else down here, right? No.
Bu son. That is the sun. All right. Well, on that cycle of thing, we're gonna call it a part here. We got everything we really wanted out of um, Brittle Hollow, except for the forge, which I don't know how to get to, and I'm honestly done looking. Um, we're gonna get on our ship. On our next episode, we're gonna check our review log, and then we're gonna take a trip to other the Ash Twins. I don't know. Um. I gotta take a look at the planet names and my logs and we'll see from there. Anyway. Uh, thank you so much for joining me as always. I really appreciate you guys being here. I'm having a wonderful time with this game. Um, if you like it, please let me know. Comment down below. Like the video. If you're not already, please subscribe. You can always unsubscribe later. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.